Hello, and welcome to The Guitar Collection. Every now and then, you play on a guitar where everything just works perfectly for you. Um, maybe it's about the sound, maybe it's about the comfort, uh, maybe it's about the volume and the power. Uh, I don't know what it is, but this is one of those guitars for me. Um, I, I have to say that it's an instrument that I just feel very creative on. Um, and like I said, it, it's a combination of many things, but I have to tell you that it's got this huge balanced sound. Um, it's incredibly easy to play. Um, Jim Redgate makes one of the best necks in the entire world, I think. Um, it's really C-shaped, which I like, and it's very thin. Um, and I think it goes beyond just those couple of little things there. It's also the fretwork and the fingerboard and action and setup. It's just perfect, I have to say. Um, so I've already spoiled who this guitar was made by, but maybe you already saw from the very famous shape and design here. This is a guitar made by the Australian maker Jim Redgate. Um, this is, has a beautiful cedar top uh, that has this matte finish on it that's really nice. There's hardly any glare. It's great for making a video here. And then you turn it around and it has this really great set of Cocobolo. Um, and it has an arched back here, as you can see in the video. Um, it's just an incredibly responsive and easy guitar to play. They are most famously played by Anna Vitovich. Her guitar is just like this one, lattice braced. And of course, many other professionals play these around the world. So let's see, other than that, I have to say, um, the tuners are, um, are mediocre <laughs> at best here. I don't know what these are, but um, they are cheapo tuners. So if you buy this guitar, I would recommend you treat this thing to uh, some Rogers or Schellers or Barnett tuners, something in this category. What else to say? Yes, I already mentioned it's in perfect condition. Uh, there are hardly any marks in this guitar anywhere. A lot of times you'll see Raschiato marks on the top and it's from reckless nails and uh, Raschiatos. Uh, but there's none of that on this guitar. There's also no raised fingerboard, but it is very easy to get up to the high frets as you'll see in some of the passages that I will play for you here in a minute. Um, the action is very, very low. Um, I have to measure it again here and I will put that in the description on guitarcollection.com, uh, but it is below three millimeters on the first string of the 12th fret, probably just below three and a half at the 12th fret on the sixth string. It is very, very low. Um, anyways, before I play some passages for you on this instrument, um, I want to go ahead and remind you to subscribe to this channel. I know so many of you that are watching are not subscribed, so if you want to see more reviews of guitars like this one, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, hit subscribe, hit like, do all the things. I don't know, it's, uh, it feels almost silly to say that. But also, check out guitarcollection.com because I'm always listing new instruments. And there's even a box on the website that I always mention to check out, but if you put your email in that box, I will notify you about guitars like this one that become available um, a lot of times sooner than I ever post a video or list it on the site. So go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love hearing what you guys think about each and every one of the guitars. If you hate it, if you love it, if you think I should do something better in the videos, write to me. I love talking about guitar. Um, and without further ado, I'll play some more passages on this instrument by Jim Redgate. 